to multiple Facebook pages at the same time can really be efficient if you want to reach more people. Now, we all know that, or maybe you don't know, <laughs> but most of us know that organic reach is down on Facebook pages. Uh, and, and we've known that now for, for a couple of years, right? For several years. However, I still think that there is a huge advantage to going live on Facebook. And let me just first explain why I think it's still worthwhile to go live on Facebook. Some of you and, and many of you have reached out to me or have been on events where I've been speaking and hear from, from you about how you're frustrated, you know, frustrated with Facebook and, you know, you're going live on your page, but like a lot of people struggle with engagement. A lot of people struggle with, you know, getting their message heard because Facebook for the most part now is, is really made to be a, uh, you know, a, a paid platform, like you pay to play sort of thing. But I still think it's worth doing. And here's why three reasons. And then I'm going to get into the demonstration on how you can actually go live to multiple Facebook pages. Uh, one reason why I think it's still worth going live on Facebook is because, well, especially if your audience is there, right, you're still showing up, you're still visible, even though organically, only a small portion of people who like your Facebook page are actually going to be seeing those posts, you still have the option to boost the post. And, and I do that occasionally. I do have clients who do it more frequently with great success. So, you know, it's still worth it in order to um, have the ability or the option of being able to boost the post after you do it. I think the biggest advantage of doing a live stream to Facebook is that, as I've said before on many other platforms, it's that idea that you are getting the content created and you're doing it quickly. Like it's a speed to market kind of thing, right? Like you're getting it out there, you're just getting it done, as opposed to the other option, which is to pre record. And all of the post production that comes with that can be very tedious, time consuming and frustrating for a lot of people who don't have that type of skill set. So I think that the, one of the big advantages of doing Facebook Live is that you're circumventing post-production, like you're, you're fast-tracking it, you're getting that content out there. Um, you can also boost those posts should you choose to. Should you want to you know, put in $20 or $30 to boost a post, you now have that available to you. And so another reason that I think going live on Facebook is advantageous is that it allows you, the, the business owner, the entrepreneur, the, the spokesperson to practice your message, right? The more often that you can get out there and say what you mean and talk to your audience and express your ideas and verbalize that, the more practiced you are so that when opportunities come your way, maybe to speak on other people's stages, you don't have that sort of fright or deer in the headlight moment of like, I don't know what to talk about. No, I've been speaking about this on my Facebook Live for forever now. And I'm very versed and practiced at being able to express this, this, op, this, um, this message. Another reason that going live on Facebook is advantageous, I think is because really you're gathering intelligence. You are able to learn from your audience, whether it's the, a, a small portion of those people who are seeing it organically or more people who are seeing it because you're paying and boosting the post or paying to put that content in front of people. The, the, you know, through ad, through Facebook ads is that you're gaining intelligence and that is worth its weight in gold because when you can understand your audience better and be able to predict what it is that they need, the, the help that they want, you're really able to do better for them because of the content that you're going to um, want to put in front of them from that point forward. So that, that intelligence gathering, I think is one of the key things. Okay. So just to set the foundation for you know, is Facebook Live still worth doing? Absolutely, it's still worth doing. It's just that we have to go into it with a plan um, and with a message. <laughs> but we also have to go in, I think, with some strategies on how we can really leverage Facebook to our advantage, right? So that's really what we're talking about today is how we can actually leverage or how we can go live on multiple Facebook pages at the same time. And there are a few things to, to keep in mind with this is that when you go live on Facebook, uh, you, you can't like, if you go, if you go live on Facebook directly through Facebook, you can only go live to one page, right? You're not going to be able to, to go live to multiple pages. So you're really going to need to use a third party tool. 
And, um, and the one that I recommend, the one I'm using right now, and the one that you'll use if you want to go live on multiple Facebook pages is Restream. And that is going to be the foundation of this demonstration today. So, so let's say you are like, okay, cool. I know I need a third party app. I need a third party tool. Let's say Restream in this case. And, um, how would you do that? How would you go live to multiple Facebook pages if I'm, let's say, using Restream. Well, the first thing you have to make sure that you have is that you have to make sure that you have the ability or the um, the permission to go live to that Facebook page. So you need to be an administrator or an editor of said Facebook page. And, and also for the purpose of this demonstration today, we are specifically talking about Facebook pages, um, but, you know, the same can be said of groups and other, you know, um, like, well, profiles or pages. I mean, you have to have the right to do it, right? You have to have permissions set so that you have administrative rights to be able to go live on, on a Facebook page. Uh, it just so happens that for me, I have administrative access to multiple Facebook pages. So... I can go in and choose whichever ones that I want to add to my channel list inside in the back end, if you will, of Restream. Um, I actually have a video that I created. Uh, I don't think I'm able to show you because it's taking some time to process, but I will explain the steps. So, so step one is make sure that you have the right to manage the page. You're either an administrator or you are an editor of the page. What you do, just like you do any um, setup for a live stream on on this tool on Restream, is you're going to um, go into the the section that says Add Channels, and it's so easy. You just click Add Channel, and it will walk you through step by step. It'll say Connect to Facebook. You click on the big blue button, and um, you click that, and it just walks you through the process. And then it says, Well, which which uh, is it a profile? Is it a page? Is it a group that you want to connect? What channel do you want to connect? And it's a drop down menu and you just click it and you go, uh, this page, boom. And you click it and you hit save and that's it. So now that page, in addition to other pages that you've set up in your channel list can be accessible and you can go live. You can live stream to multiple Facebook pages. Why? Because Restream is a multi-streaming tool. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed so that you can go to live to up to 30 platforms at the same time. We just happen to be talking about Facebook pages only today, but you can go live to a multitude of Facebook pages so long as you have the ability and to manage that page. All you do is you set up the channels inside the back end of your Restream account, and that's it. And it's just a simple little toggle button. You just toggle over. Yes, I want this to go my live stream to go to this page, but not this page or this channel and not this channel. And it's just a toggle button, a little blue toggle button that you click and it goes off or you click it and it goes on. And it's really that simple. So for me, I have, gosh, I have LinkedIn. I have Twitter. I have YouTube set up as a channel. I've got uh, my Facebook uh, profile my personal profile. I have um, a Facebook page. Uh, I have a Facebook group. Like I have all these different channels and all I need to do then is just go in and toggle which ones I want to, to broadcast to and which ones I might not on that specific day or for that specific message. And it's really, um, it's really that simple. So you add the channel, you connect Facebook and you hit save. Now, if you don't have Man, you, you don't manage that channel. What happens if you don't manage that Facebook page? Well, that's when you really have to start looking at um, uh, another way of doing it. And that is to leverage other people's pages. So how do you leverage other people's Facebook pages? Well, the answer to that is a very special feature in Restream. And it's called Restream Pairs. And I'll explain what it is and how it works. But that's how I would approach it if I didn't have administrative access to a Facebook page that I still wanted to go live to in addition to, let's say, my own, I'm going to leverage the Restream Pairs feature. And what that is, is you would need to collaborate with someone who does manage that Facebook page um, and you're going to coordinate and you're going to say, hey, let's you know do a live stream together. This is particularly good for collaborations. Maybe it's also going to be some type of joint venture, you know, some type of affiliate joint venture that you're doing together. Maybe it's just interviewing 
one another or you're interviewing someone else as a guest, you know, like an int- a guest interview type of scenario. And then the other person, you would just coordinate with them and say, okay, let's do this live stream. I'm going to send you the, the link and it's a specific link. When you set up your live stream in Restream, you just go and there's a link and you just click it. You send that to the person and that person gets the, the link and they follow the instructions and that allows them to hook up any on all channels that they would like. In the interest of this topic, we're talking about Facebook pages. So perhaps you know, that person could say, okay, great. I'm going to connect my Facebook page. And then you say, okay, great. I'm going to live stream to my Facebook page. And that's it. When you go live, each of you is going to be really broadcasting the same, the same stream, the same live stream to both your Facebook page, as well as in real time to their Facebook page. So really there are three different things to keep in mind. If you want to, um, if you want to live stream to multiple Facebook pages. Uh, Thing one is you're probably going to really want to think about Restream, right? Um, Restream is going to be your best friend in this case. You're going to want to consider, are you an administrator or an editor of said Facebook page? The second thing is go into Restream. You're going to want to add those Facebook pages as channels. And then if you're not an administrator of a Facebook page, you could collaborate with someone else and leverage other people's Facebook page audiences to connect with Restream Pairs, right? So using the Restream Pairs feature in order to, in to, in order to really uh, like take advantage of that. So that's how I would approach it. Um, again, you know, there are just so many so many advantages to doing live streaming in and of itself, uh, let alone to Facebook. I think it's really something to consider if you want to get your message out to more people. One thing I would recommend, and that is if you are, um, if you don't yet have a Restream account is you're going to want to start a free Restream account and you can go to restream.io slash join slash CIOC, which stands for cash in on camera. And you can start your free Restream account there. Here's the cool thing. Also, I should mention about uh, Restream and Restream pairs in particular, you are the, uh, you as the account holder, um, you know, you, you have the, you have your Restream account, but anybody who's, who's a guest or who's you're collaborating with or who you're joint venturing with, it's free for them to hook up their Facebook page and broadcast your live stream to their accounts. It's a free feature to them. So you have to have an account, but they don't have to necessarily have an account. They don't have to, you know, that they can access that feature for free, which is really super remarkable. And that's another thing I wanted to mention. So again, it's great if you want to collaborate, if you want to do joint venture, you want to do guest interviews, that sort of thing, because then obviously you have, you know, something to work on together uh, in order to, to really leverage other people's audiences. So go and get out, get your uh, free Restream account. It's uh, restream.io slash join slash CIOC. And the other thing too, is if you have any questions about this concept or Restream, since I love it, use it. Uh, it's really the foundation of my entire video podcast. You know, I just love this platform. I'm always happy to answer more questions about it on my Facebook page. So I have a cash in on camera Facebook page or rather Facebook group. Um, and you're more than welcome to join that group and ask any questions that you like. So I'm very, uh, you know, very, very available within the group. So if there's anything in, you know, specific going on for you that you have questions about, by all means, you can reach me on my Facebook group, Cash In On Camera. Just search that. Um, happy to have you in the community and answer any and all questions that you may have about this. So, so there, there you have it. That's how you can actually um, live stream on multiple Facebook pages. I hope this has been helpful for you. Go and get your free Restream account and, uh, and really just get started. I'd be happy to support you in our Facebook community as well if you have any additional questions. Have a great rest of your day. Get out there and go live and share your message.